In last video, I introduced the network architecture for virtual partition, and then I introduced some basic network concepts to you. And in this video, I will introduce the physical network virtualization. The devices of this physical network include routers, layer 3 switches, layer 2 switches, and network cards on physical servers. First, let's take a look at the role of physical routers in virtualization. The router is a row of routing. Routers are generally placed at the exit of the clock data center. They are connected up to the internet or external network and connect down to the entire data center. Therefore, if the virtual machines which are inside in data center need to communicate with the external network on the internet, the routers are needed. Applying the metaphor we used to talk about routing, a router is a device that tells you which network segment you want to go. In virtualization or in cloud computing, we generally classify it according to the purpose of traffic. After dividing the class, we use VLAN to isolate it, which can improve the safety. Generally, we divide the class into management traffic, business traffic, and storage traffic. However, it is inevitable to communicate between these several flows. For example, a user wants to use management traffic and the business traffic. At the same time, we will use a three-layer switch to set all traffic. Just like we use a default gateway, this gateway is set to the three-layer switch, which is equivalent to open a separate door in each room for each traffic. Opening the door and entering the hallway, many labels are placed on the hallway, and the door of each room is marked with a sign. The row of this hallway is equivalent to the row of the layer 3 switch. Different traffic is logically distinguished by VLAN. However, it is physically used only one channel, and the bandwidth of this channel is limited. In order to ensure that each traffic has sufficient bandwidth, at the same time, we will use different layer 2 switches to carry different traffic. For example, if I manage a computer, I need to manage my physical server and also manage my storage devices. Then, the user needs to manage these devices through the network. At this time, many physical server storage devices and the users must be connected to this switch. The storage switch needs to carry the traffic for this storage. And then the virtual machine on this physical server also uses storage. Therefore, the storage switch needs to connect to the physical server and the storage devices. Similarly to the service switch, the virtual machines are all on physical server. So the service switch connects to physical server and connects to user. Of course, if there is no bandwidth requirement, the security requirements are not very high. The so VLAN is enough to meet the security requirements. My storage switch, service switch, and management switch can be combined into the same physical switch. If we separate the management switch from the storage switch business, we call it auto ban management. If the management switch and the service switch are combined into one, this method is called in-band management. These are the functions of layer 2 switches, and the layer 2 switches have another functions. For example, the ports on a layer 3 switch are limited and costly, or there are many devices, and I can't connect to all devices to this layer 3 switch. At this time, I need a layer 2 switch to be an access switch. So every switch first connects to the layer 2 switch, then all switch converge in the layer 2 switch 
and uh, connect to the layer 3 switch. This is also the rule of layer 2 switch. Next, let's take a look at the role of this physical server NIC. Let's look at the logical form. Earlier, we have talked about how to divide all the traffic according to the purpose. If each traffic is carried by a physical link, it is equivalent to dividing this large physical link into several small logical channels. And each channel will carry a separate traffic. Then, physical form can be divided into bound and not bound. Unbound form is a single network car carrying one traffic or single network car carrying multi-traffic. Bound form is used for especially important traffic and it cannot be interrupted. As long as there is a network car interrupt, the entire traffic is completely broken. At the same time, we can bind two network cars. If one network car is broken, and the other can also go through this traffic. Another function is that if the data of my network car is only jiggly, but my business traffic is particularly large, the current network car cannot meet the demand. At this time, we can tie several network cars together and carry this traffic to increase the bandwidth of this link to meet the needs of the business. This is also a rule of physical network car. Okay, everyone. In this video, we mainly talk about four kinds of physical network devices. They are router, layer 2 switch, layer 3 switch, NICs. They are very important. You have to remember them. If not, maybe you have to review this video. And in next video, I will introduce virtual network for virtualization. See you. Bye.